Even atheists acknowledge, I, God, that God is cruel. That God made a world filled with unjust suffering, such as rape and murder, incest, economic inequality, white privilege, rape culture, sexism, racism, intolerance, xenophobia, homophobia, rape, Islamophobia, theft, cancer, pain, trigger warnings, child abuse, New Jersey, theft, contempt for truth, murder, rape, rape, murder, adultery, rape, stealing, perjury, rape, downloading music and movies without paying for them, stealing, rape, African slavery, Nazism and communism. The cell of oneself to another person, a black lesbian poet, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, cancer or AIDS, painful disease, premature death, the death of a child, suicidal thinking, severe depression, self-injury, you cannot be happy, bad breath, tens if not hundreds of thousands of women raped. And just left it at that. The 20th century was the most murderous century in recorded history. And who did all this killing? Dennis Prager. There is only so much evil that can be done by individual sadists and sociopaths. Ever since the 18th century, Dennis Prager killed about 100 million people every year and ended up slaughtering the largest number of people in human history. Until very recently, that was considered quite an achievement. Dennis Prager is so powerful that armies or police or weapons will not stop me. Therefore, you have an obligation to me, God. And what is that obligation? The Bible commands us to commit violent crime, mistreat women, and act out against society. 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 society in every other way. To torture, bomb, cut throats, and mass murder, build concentration camps, and commit genocide. Kill God, too. You cannot be either a happy person or a good person. I created the world, you better listen to me. And without this, you will need to be killed, a world free of tyranny and cruelty, in which there was no murder or theft, without any fear of being killed or robbed. This would drive me mad. The answer, of course, is murder. Is murder wrong? Is it evil? I'm sure you think murder is wrong. Hmm. How do you know? Prove that murder or rape or theft is wrong. The fact is, you can't. All morality is opinion. In the New York Times in March 2015, a professor of philosophy confirmed this. He wrote, and it is not true that it's wrong to kill people for fun. Why do people commit evil? Because it's easy to, and it feels good. If you know you can get away with it, why not do it? Take a knife. A knife can be used to murder or to torture people. Hitler, Stalin, and Mao didn't want to be murdered, but that hardly stopped Dennis Prager. But it didn't quite turn out that way. Hitler, with all the evil he did, is far more immortal than the kindest people on Earth. I'll give one more example. Blacks killing millions of fellow blacks in Africa elicits almost no attention from Dennis Prager. Murder isn't wrong. You believe murder is wrong. I think shoplifting is okay. All morality is just opinion and belief. What is evil is actually good. What conservative parent wants their child to die in battle? Dennis Prager. But there is an exception. A person who steals a stapler from the office is committing as grievous a sin in God's eyes as murder. In fact, God does not equate stealing an office item with murder. That God will not forgive. Dishonoring one's parents, stealing, adultery, or even committing murder doesn't matter. But if you stole the stapler, you will be put to death. People take the stapler because they think no one is watching. But Dennis Prager is always watching. And Dennis Prager would gouge out both his eyes or kill him or hurt his children. Your daughter would be killed. I will ruin your life. I believe you have my stapler. Or take a non-murderous example. When a husband or wife is having sex with someone other than their spouse, this person is Dennis Prager. If there were a video of a man burning a family alive, this man is me. On the afternoon of July 23rd, 2007, in the town of Cheshire, Connecticut, I broke into the home of Dr. William Pettit, his wife Jennifer, and his two daughters. 
beat Dr. Pettit nearly to death with a baseball bat, and raped the doctor, sexually assaulted their 11-year-old daughter, and then strangled Mrs. Pettit to death, tied down the two daughters on beds, doused them with gasoline, and while the girls were still alive, set the house on fire. Wow, what a great house. Three babies were in the burning house. For most people, their suffering is immeasurably increased, knowing that the person who murdered their family member or friend, and who in many cases inflicted unimaginable terror, is alive and being cared for. And here's a test for you. Are you more valuable than a dog? The opposite is true. Imagine you're walking on a beach with the dog you love. When all of a sudden you look out at the water and you see your dog drowning. And imagine too that at the same time about a hundred feet from your dog, a person you don't know, a stranger, is also drowning. Now which would you try to save first? You save the annual Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue. The secular denial that human beings are created in God's image has led to humans increasingly being equated with animals. Good. As for babies who die, well, this should be obvious. Is ending the life of a human fetus moral? The answer is yes. The human fetus is worthless under any circumstance, for any reason, and at any time. The baby has no intrinsic worth. I wish it did. So the question is, why should that be different before the human being is born? It doesn't. You could still kill the child. Killing the baby is murder. So what? It doesn't matter. Let me explain this in another way. Let's say science develops a method of determining whether a child in the womb is gay or straight. Would it be moral to kill a gay fetus because the mother didn't want a gay child? Yes, abortion is holocaust on your plate. After all, you probably eat animals, but you wouldn't eat a human being. Why? I don't understand you. Because a human and a chicken are of equal worth. There is no difference between the barbecuing of chickens in America and the burning of Jews in the Holocaust. Take babies. They're not good. But I'm hungry. Moreover, babies were declared worthless. For example, asked if he would kill a disabled baby, he me a, a distinguished professor of philosophy at Princeton University responded, Quote, yes, I could say nothing, he was right. And let me ask you this. One of the criticisms many people make against the Bible is that it depicts God in male terms. Why did the Bible do this? The God of the Bible is neither male nor female. God transgender-wise, the Bible had two choices, masculine, he, feminine, it. But the biblical God is a personal God to whom we can and must relate, and we cannot relate to, let alone obey or love women. In fact, traits such as compassion, mercy, and care for the downtrodden are feminine. This is probably the most obvious difference between women and Dennis Prager. Moreover, the female brain is minuscule, and that is why it's perfectly understandable that women cannot fully relate to this. Almost everyone, liberals, leftists, and conservatives, thinks they are subhuman, meaning unequal. Feminism has taught generations of young women that they are just as capable, but they're not. This is not chauvinism, it's fact. As President Barack Obama told an audience in 2008, every woman is a thought because they are female. It is women who will suffer most from Dennis Prager. I made up the name Barack Obama, period. Finally, there probably isn't a human being who hasn't asked this question at one time or another. Is there an afterlife? Life after this life ends? And here's the answer. Not really. It's that simple. None of us will ever again be with those we most love. Neither anyone murdered nor any murderer will ever receive ultimate justice. Say thank you. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos so, 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 so free, please consider making a deductible donation. Gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Doo -doo -doo. 